Oh, here we are back again. And see how bad this is under here. Anyways, that'll be a little bit of fun. But at least we can go from that connector right there. I take this line all the way back. Sorry for getting you guys all dizzy. Up to the engine compartment. here and down to that block that's right there underneath the master cylinder that's right here there's a connector right there we're going to be taking the line out from right there and running it all the way down through Now we got three points of stabilization. We still got some load on the jack. We got the axle setting on the jack stand. We got the suspension right here sitting underneath the, the front of the suspension where the, the frame is. So we got three points. Let's get underneath here and get that brake line out. Yeah, let's keep in mind, people, this is a 1993 and it is up in the Northeast. Oh boy, well, at least that line's already been replaced. And that one over here, a little short one's been replaced. This parking brake cable looks lovely. Uh, I don't like this right there at all, however. So I will let him know that that line is going to need to be replaced. This was not good. But let's get to saturating this. We don't want to crumble this side until we're ready to replace this whole piece here too. here is to keep this part here from moving. Now that worked out extremely well. And the line broke. That's okay because we're removing it all anyways. dry as a bone, there's nothing in it. There's the fitting. Now, grab a screwdriver and assuming that this like right here, this line is in good shape, I'm not concerned about it, so I'm gonna get right behind it and just pop that line out. Up here. Up here it's a little different. The line looks like there's a fuel leak. 
seepage, or it could be just from a brake, brake fluid. Doesn't smell like gas, so. Okay, and then pop that line, same way. Now we're all the way up to the front of the vehicle. all the way up to just above the drive shaft. You know what they say about doing everything twice. The second time around is a lot faster. Back corner, and then slide the whole assembly back. Now we're gonna try to get this one out without breaking off anything else. Let's see what happens. Try to not block your view too much here. Doesn't mean I'll succeed, but I'll try. Let's see where we grab it right there. Now I need a 20 millimeter wrench, just like this one, to sit on this assembly. Up here is probably even better. So I can secure this to not go anywhere. And from the feel of things, that went very well. Indeed, it did. That moves very nicely. So now we can try to get that removed. Smaller pair, I get a little bit more room with. This is not the correct tool for the job, but when half of it's already gone from rust, it doesn't make much of a difference. At least this should usually get a better grip than the wrench that was intended for it. And if we can, we'll try to get this line out intact on this end, and then we can just duplicate all of the bends slow and sure is better. There we go. Ooh, what do we got in here? Yeah, just corrosion. Alright. And that is held with a zip tie right above the drive shaft. Uh, let's see. If I get an angle here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. You see where that line's wiggling down there? There's a zip tie hanging down from it. Well, oh, never thought this would be so difficult to do while holding a camera. Crap in the way, get out of the way. Bye. Okay. Oh, 
maybe push it through. Right now. Oh, let's go up top, figure out which way to get this out of here. Get that underneath the steering. That might be what we need to get done. There we go. And now I can swirl that down and through. I don't know if you can see my hand down there. But now, underneath the frame. at me. Bring a line, just enough sticking out through that it lines up for the very first step of your gauge. And then tighten it down, really tight. Gotta loosen the other side a little bit to tighten it down. Slip, but I'll have to double check it. We're still where we need to be. Again, make sure that you're chamfered end is the end that it's sticking out from. Put your die in. And spin this all the way out. This grease needs to be thinned out a little. All the way down, and back it back off. Remove the die, inspect the bend that you've got in there. The first
first flare, which is a bubble flare. And now we're going to cave in that bubble flare and turn it into a double flare. We start bending this to match this. Now, let's see. Underneath the steering line, up behind the rubber hose. And turn. I need it to turn. Okay, let's try this again. Underneath the steering, underneath the hose, inside of the drive shaft, all the way to the ground. myself from accidentally pulling this all the way down through. How did we do? We didn't. We still need to go three more back. I'm going to pull all the way over here. Uh, three more back. Underneath here, get the rest of this straightened and where it needs to go. down it's not touching anything not rubbing against anything it's in the holders so we're all good to go tighten this down and then work ourselves back to the end of the line
make sure you're seated squarely on that nut before you start cranking on it. That's a half inch. That should be plenty tight enough. Now I'll just make sure again that it's not near anything like the steering. So I'll bend that down and out of the way a little bit. Uh, it's such a tight squeeze under here. Alright. There we go. That's in the holder there. So over there. I got a bend right here. And according to this end right here, we went up like this, out right here. So we're going to bend up right about here. Bend. Right, and then where'd it go? And from there, right about the side. Right here, you're going to bend this way. That. And I'm assuming we're going to come out just far enough to make our bend that way. Like that. Now, now let's see. I'll figure out what to do with all this extra line at the moment. There's no way I'm going to be able to put the fitting on. Okay, so we're going to just cut this baby. Uh, let's see, where? Yeah, right about there. It's not quite the same, is it? Yeah, like, yeah, let's get this mess over here. Okay, so we need a lot less bend here.
Alright. Put your end on first. Don't ever forget your end. It's a, it's a real bummer when you do. Okay, chamfered end out. Dies. Actually, I can drag this out from out underneath. See, that's pretty much where it needs to be. Now, let's see. All right, now we'll get the rest of this straight. It all sits in its brackets. So now, let's see.
in the brackets there. Here, here, here. And let's see what we got over right here. Yeah, in the bracket. Gotta push that line up a little bit right there. There we go. So now we're lines all good all the way through. So now we get to start the bleeding process. Nice and rusty. Let's see if I can get this to come loose without breaking. On a bleed screw. Are you freaking kidding me? Is that a bleed? That is that, I don't even know if that's a bleed screw. I have no idea. I, I just put the wrench on it. The wrench won't even grab anything. There's nothing there to grab. Oh my god. That's not a bleed screw. Uh, probably already returned back to Earth. Holy crap. I don't think there's a bleed screw in there. Well, I don't know how I'm going to get that out of there. Now, the brake line's in. We got the bleeder on this side, down in here, loosened up. We started to work on the brake line on the other side. And needless to say, you can probably tell where this is leading. And the bolts and everything back here are just, it's, it's going to take a while. I may or may not video this. Uh, I'm not sure, but the lines are done. All we got to do now is replace this because the bleeder broke off in it and there's just no fixing it. So if you guys found this video helpful, educational, entertaining, or any of the above, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And most important, remember, you've got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches. You know, a lot of people quit making videos. Do not fit.